YouTube, Facebook. How's it going? Nico here with our Brown Farmhouse, AKA Brown Family Farm. I actually have Egypt here with me today to help out with today's project. Also, my dad is in town, so I'm sure you'll see him throughout this video because we have a pretty big project for today. So let me give you a little bit of goat and maybe some peacock action. Then I'll explain what we'll have going on for today. So you can see everyone here. They're definitely all along the fence line because they're one in some, they're one in some, uh, they're one in some peanut hay, but not today. I want them to graze, which they've been doing a great job of. And then let me show y'all Elvis and Priscilla over here. Our peacocks here in their home. So there we go. Elvis is on the left, Priscilla's on the right. Oh, there we go, she's the one that just jumped up. Such beautiful birds. But our project today has to do with them. So let me give you a lay of the land. So as you can see over here, this is a 10 by 10 cage with a three by five cage attached to it, which is where their water and food is at. So they have two water options right there, one and two, and then here's their food right there. And essentially, we just want them to have more space. So today we're gonna to be building them an aviary um, and like 90% of the things on the property, we're gonna be doing it ourselves, DIY. So if you're a professional contractor or builder out there, hey, it's DIY. Uh, give us some tips and tricks, but we're doing it ourselves, and I think it's gonna look great. So we wanna build it right here. So um, gonna to have to move this compost pile, just gonna rake it out the way, rake it further that way. But you can see how great of a job the chickens have been doing over here. This thing was tall, y'all. But they come over here, they scratch it, they turn it for us. So, and you can see how fine it is. So this is some good compost. I'm gonna rake it back together, essentially flipping it, let the chickens do it all over again. But this is in the way right now. So it's gonna be a 12 by 20 and I'm kind of going to cheat. So I'm going to put it back up against the wall of the shop right here. So it's going to be a rectangle. It's going to go out that way. On the screen right now, there should be an overview of what we're going to be doing today. And off of the 12 by 20, we're going to place their current coop. So it's kind of going to make like an, a very small L. So they'll have their current uh, coop AKA Graceland, where they're currently in, in addition to the 12 by 20 aviary that's gonna be attached to it, giving them way more space. And this is a uh, two bird, one stone project. So by putting it against this back wall, I'm saving on materials because I won't have to do anything to protect the back side of Graceland right here. I'll just have to protect three sides of it. So that's gonna save me um, on the cost of materials, which of course are all high right now. And then it's gonna run straight off of the edge of the shop right here. So straight off the edge of the shop is gonna run straight that way towards the fence, which that's where it's a two bird, one stone, because off of that edge of the uh, shop, I wanna run a fence that way. So essentially creating another pasture or paddock right here so by having the aviary run off that way i'm already fencing off that section in essence and then once i finally fence off that section this this section right here will be enclosed so hopefully that made sense to y'all let me show you the materials all right y'all so what we have over here is we have some 12 foot four by fours and what we're gonna be doing with these is using these six 12 foot four by fours as the um, post, right, for the aviary. 
And then we have some two by 10, some two by 12s, some two by six by 10s that are all gonna be used to, of course, create the structure of the aviary. And I'm gonna be using this fence right here. Pretty, uh, it's essentially horse fencing. It's the same fencing we used for uh, Frankie's enclosure. But this is what we're gonna wrap the entire, the entire aviary in. We're gonna have roof raptors that are gonna be tied in with hurricane ties. But for now, I'm just gonna be putting on a tarp on the top, similar to what we already have on Graceland, which will ensure that while they will be able to get up high, they won't be able to fly out. And in the future, we'll add an actual you know, metal roof onto there. So a little lay of the land. We also have some decor items, gonna to try to figure out how to incorporate. But now that you have the lay of the land, we're gonna to get to it. All right, y'all, so this is my dad. He's in town from Texas. Gonna be here for a week here visiting Gus and Pharaoh, our new son. So he's gonna be out here helping me. I'm sure Egypt's gonna come out here as well. Um, but we're about to get set up and we're gonna to get to it. All right, y'all, so y'all can see we've started moving the compost pile which I just explained because it's in the way of where we're gonna put the aviary. So what we're doing is we're uh, moving it right over here, creating a new pile. After we're done, we're gonna use this water to dump on there. Um, and then the chickens are gonna work their magic. Once we get this new pile created, it's nice and flipped, but it's already rich. Like, look at that, that just got thrown on top. Dad, I, could, I could put that, uh, that's just a hay, hay string. I could put that right on the garden today, y'all. This is good stuff. So this compost pile, we're just gonna continue to flip and we'll create a second pile for some of our newer manure. But our goal is to have this nice and ready for when we establish our uh, garden in the fall. So it's already looking good though. and clean in this area if you can hand over here so the pile was all right here it was in the way because i'm coming right off the edge of this building and going 12 feet that way so now it's out the way and uh we'll be able to start laying and measuring where we want the post to go and uh right here behind egypt what we're going to have to do is move graceland over about eight feet to where we can uh, get to work. And y'all will see the final product, but here's the pile. Once again, gonna take this water right here and just dump it on the pile. And uh, the chickens will come over here and do their thing, all right? So my dad is um, doing the second string. You can't see it, but because it's so fine, but we've done the first string and you can kind of see it now going that way. So we know we're straight coming off the edge of the building. Now he's doing the same thing over here with this string. So I want to take it that way to the stake that's right there against the building. So. Yep, there we go. So he's getting that done. It's going pretty smooth so far. Hopefully I'm not jinxing us. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully I'm not jinxing us. So this right here is six feet tall, uh, Graceland. It's a 10 by 10 by six, and the aviary is gonna be 10 feet tall. So they're gonna have another four feet off the ground to be able to get up. And I think they're, they're gonna like that, so. Let's get to it. My dad was 
mention how the sand, how the dirt looks like sand. So if you're not familiar, uh, once again, our property is in Florida, and that's just what we have. That's what makes it challenging to grow here. A lot of trial and error. All right, y'all. So we have all six holes um, dug. You can see one of them right there. And what we're about to do right now is just make sure that the posts are going to be level, okay? So I'm going to throw a board across the top of those two boards and use a level. And if they're level on the top, we're going to temp it down, set them. And we're going to do it the same thing from that one, from that post to that post, get it level, temp them, do the same thing on the three holes and boards on this side. And then that should that should be it. All right, good morning, y'all. Have <laughs> have my does behind me. But uh, my dad and I ended up just putting our heads down, getting to work yesterday. Um, the weather wasn't on our side. You could kind of see it in the sky today that the weather may not be on my side again. But let me show you what we were able to get to yesterday. And we're just gonna pick it up, keep it going today. Once again, this is the renovation of Graceland. That's what we should call it the renovation of Graceland. So let me show you where we are. All right, so this is the original Graceland, as you can see. And there's Elvis and Priscilla in there, getting their day started. And they still will use this structure because we're gonna butt it up to this newer structure. But here it is, y'all. So it is 12 by 20, okay? So we have it all framed out. Um, today, all we have to do is finish out some of the framing. Um, Natalie wants it painted white, so we're gonna paint it white. Right here is the door, so we need to finish out framing the door. We have to build the actual door. Um, although we did put, you know, some rafters up, and not only did we put rafters, but, you know, we secured them because this is Florida at the end of the day. Gotta worry about the high winds and hurricanes. Um, I'm actually not gonna put a metal roof on right now. I'm gonna put a black tarp on it, on the roof, similar to, similar to Graceland, okay? Um, but I am going to eventually put some metal roofing on this first like eight feet on this side so that as water falls off of the shop, it's not creating a flood effect um, inside, or if they're roosting on this area right here, which we're gonna build out and create roost for them, water is not literally falling on them. So we are gonna have a little bit of metal roof. That's gonna be in the near future. That was a mouthful, but that's what we have to do today, y'all. So thank you for following us on this journey. And we just love the fact that y'all take time out of your day to watch us do what we would be doing anyway, but also just leave such nice comments. We really appreciate it. All right, y'all, let's get to it. All righty, y'all, so it's coming along for Elvis and Priscilla. We have the Graceland renovation. So as you can see, we've laid more boards. We have the door framed out. We also were able to go ahead and get the boards on this side, top, middle, and bottom portions done. So it's coming together. It's really coming together. Now we're about to build the door. After the door, I think we'll be ready to throw some paint on this thing. Right, y'all so what I'm doing right now is I'm creating all of the pieces that I need for the door so 
this top piece, this is the top and bottom piece. The door is 40 inches wide. So top piece, bottom plate right here. And the reason I'm doing it that wide is if we ever need to get in there to clean it out, um, right here, the gorilla cart fits in there. I'll be able to roll it into the door with ease to clean it out. So that's how I got the 40 inch measurement. Um, the door in total can be 76 inches tall. I'm sorry, uh, 70, 76 and a half. So essentially what I'm cutting right now are those, um, are the uh, left and right pieces of the door, if you will. And then we'll start piecing it together. So right there is my door. Now, all I'm gonna do is cut some pieces to go vertically inside, maybe create a design or something to make it look good, kind of like we did with the chicken door, um, or the door to the chicken run. So, um, <laughs> no plans for this. This is just all off, off the top of my head and what looks good, but doors, doors are fairly easy. I mean, if you've never built one, there's nothing to be intimidated by, really easy. You just want it to be square, of course, or your door is gonna be wonky. So, looks like we're good right there. Now, I'm about to just start measuring out and seeing what I could do about, um, yeah, just seeing what I could do about some of these design pieces for the center. All right, y'all, so once again, no design, no method to the madness, just your imagination when you're doing projects like this. Um, what it looks like, my dad, who's the cameraman right now, um, said that it looks like gun smoke, like a jail cell. Like if those are the bars up top, this is where you could pass a tray. You know, I think it looks nice, kind of like a, a Western feel to it. Um, so I think this is what I'm gonna go with. So now we just gotta get it all together, make it nice and sturdy. Um, and we should be good, y'all. What do you think? <laughs> it's not it's not so yeah let's go ahead and secure this and put it in place and see how it looks see if we actually like it Whew. well y'all what i was afraid of happening has happened can you tell that uh it's raining i'll flip the camera so you can better see but pretty good progress uh would have significantly way more progress if it wasn't raining but it's okay, this is only day two. And I feel like uh, my dad and I, Egypt, have gotten a lot done. So let me show you what I'm about to do to the door. So the door is together. As you can see, I put chicken wire on it. And this is the back of the door that you're looking at. About to cut out the perimeter of the chicken wire so that the door is fully, you know, enclosed, all the extras gone. And then I'll stand it up so y'all can see what it looks like. In the previous shot, you saw that the mesh was going over these boards. I'll be honest, that was just me being lazy. I had already done them and realized I didn't put the chicken uh, wire down and I didn't like the way it looked. So I did what I should have done from the start, which is do it the right way. So I tore everything out, now I fixed it. So now I'm just putting the nails back down in. Didn't take that long at all. It is a big one. <laughs> it is a big one, but I like the way it looks. It's gonna be painted white to match um, everything else when we paint it. So I think it'll look good. All right, y'all, so as you can see, there's a lot of progress that's been made on the aviary. Um, but essentially, we're almost ready for paint. What I've done so far this morning and what you see me doing right now is just adding some corner support. Probably don't need them. 
Uh, you could argue it's overkill, but if you've been watching my videos, you know I just like to do things right the first way, even if it's overkill, because I want to do it one time and leave it alone, right? That's the, uh, that's the goal. Plus, um, the more secure the structures we build for our animals, the better, right? Not only for their safety, but uh, for their experience as we are the stewards of those animals that are on our property. So that's something we take pretty seriously. And we try to do it all within our means, of course. Everything's expensive right now, so that's why we DIY, right? Building this myself or charge someone to come in and do it. Triple the price probably, right? So just a little sweat equity. Um, myself, my dad, who once again is the cameraman right now, been out here getting it in. Egypt comes out every now and then, throws in her assistance, but um, just get it done. This is day three. I still think we're moving pretty quickly on this build um, and should be able to wrap it up. If not today, tomorrow for sure. All right, y'all. So next step is paint. So I had what three buckets, three five gallon buckets of white paint. Um, in this garbage bag, there's like two or three one gallons that we combined in here and we're mixing it up because once again, we're painting it white. And so blessed to have this right here, this painter. So this should make light work of painting. Um, and uh, as you can see, I've used it a lot. We've painted everything on the property ourselves. So the barn, the shop, Frankie's house, the goat house, um, and I'm leaving things out, but yeah. So they should make it easy, y'all. Dad's over here stirring it up. As soon as he's done, we will move on to painting. See Egypt and Sahara's a unicorn, it sprays water. So let me grab my hat right here and let's get going. All right, y'all, so as you just saw in the footage, we're beginning to paint. Um, we are gonna eventually paint the shop uh, because we want it to match the property. Everything on the property is black and white. The house is white and black. The shop is brown. So um, if you're wondering why I'm not too concerned about overspray or paint getting on the shop itself, that's because we're gonna paint the shop um, and most likely we're going to be painting it white anyway, white with black trim to match the house while everything else on the property is white and black. So just wanted to throw that out there in case anyone was, was thinking like, why is he doing that? is coming together and I think it looks really nice but as the saying goes things happen I was in my zone and looked over and the bucket of paint fell over why 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 that's probably like a hundred dollars on the ground oh boy uh, all right well let's see what we could do to fix this all right, y'all. It is really windy today. Um, can you see it on my face? <laughs> the spray as the wind has, has got me. But yeah, 
I wish I could tell you right now that I invented something that allowed me to hoover up that paint off the ground and I finished out the uh, painting of the aviary, but I'm just not Elon Musk. It's a sad story, but life goes on. So <laughs> that was a hundred dollar mistake. I had to run to the store. Um, five gallons, I think I said this earlier in the video, but five gallons cost, um, the base price was 180, but the average price looked to be about 250 to 280. So, yeah, no. So I just bought two, uh, two one gallons, and that's what I'm about to use. So I just have this one gallon, and I bought two of them once again. That's what I'm about to use. And that should be more than enough to finish this out. Oh, that was a costly mistake. Um, I need y'all's help. Don't tell Natalie. Don't put it in the comments. Don't email. Smoke signal. Nothing. That, that $100 right there is going to... Man, I'm going to be in the doghouse. But hey, Elvis and Priscilla, it's for y'all. The aviary is for y'all. And it was commissioned by mama. So y'all know what? Maybe I won't be in trouble. This was commissioned by mama. So yeah, let's get it done. Y'all, check this out. We have the front painted. And I kid y'all not, I have been out here for probably the last five and a half hours trying to figure out what's wrong with the pump so you can see i have tools everywhere like literally everywhere i've been trying to fix it there's this, the paint i spilled earlier oh boy elvis and priscilla the things we do for you so as i sit here stand here with my paint covered in face you could probably hear it in my voice i'm a little dejected but that's okay because I'm human and I'm a solution oriented person. So I'm gonna figure out what's wrong with that pump. But in the meantime, you may see it behind me. I'm gonna go ahead and start um, enclosing this structure. My goal was to have this project completed today in three days. Um, and you would have been seeing the final product in the video you're watching right now. What will end up happening is um, what you just saw is likely where I'll end it for this video so that you can see where I am in the next upload. Um, Natalie, uh, Natalie, my wife came out here. She gave me a pep talk. I ran to like three different stores today buying parts for the machine. I've done every single thing that's in every single uh, video I watched and all of that good stuff. So I think she came out here and sensed it. So she brought me uh, some water and gave me a pep talk and now I'm on my feet again. And uh, that's what I love about my, uh, my wife. Um, so going to finish this, you'll see the fully renovated Graceland in the next upload. Um, but before I get back to work, which once again, you'll see that in the next video, I would like to say shout out to y'all, man. Um, let me first start with um, Jason and Brooke at Cog Hill. Uh, such amazing people. I've always known it. That seems weird to say. I've always known it because you can sense it through the videos. And I'm Cog Squad the same way many of you are likely Cog Squad um, because of that. That's why we enjoy their content. But meeting them in person it's like putting a stamp on it. Like they really are the people that you see on camera. Um, when it just comes to being just genuine, um, loving human beings. Um, and, and that continues through the video I just uploaded. I've seen my subscriber count grow by about a thousand subs. And that's a shout out to um, all of you. And many of you came from Cog, uh, from Cog Hill Farm so thank you very much hopefully um you've liked what you've seen with our uploads um and we're we're just sharing our journey we'll keep it going but just want to say thank you to all of you um natalie and i've been responding to as many of the comments as we can because we know that each viewer is a person that took time out of their day there's a million videos on youtube 
outside of the other things someone could be doing. And all of y'all took time out of your day to watch that video and subscribe and or leave a comment. Um, so uh, thank you all. We appreciate you. We love you all. And hey, I'm in this video with a smile on my face because man, I'm a hot mess today. Look at, hey, one thing I've been working y'all. Give, give me some props down in the comments. I've been, I've been working. Um, I'm back on my feet. I'm gonna get it done. Um, but yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see you next time for Grace Slam part two for Elvis and Priscilla. Going to go ahead and feed all the babies. You can see the goats back there. Frankie's right here as well. I don't know if y'all can see. But yeah, going to go ahead and end this video um, because we got to feed the babies. You can see our girl Frankie with not even a scar on her neck. If you've seen the video of when she was attacked, we have all the babies in the back eating, have some over there. Got to go up front, feed the cows, got to feed the bucks, got to feed Zeus, our Irish wolfhound. Um, there's two of the bucks right there. Um, got to feed everybody and we have to feed human beings. The kids are getting home from school right now. So yeah, I'm rambling at this point. Love y'all. Peace.